Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Minecraft Technic Galactic Science official tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on an introduction to GSO which is how I will try to refer to it from now on. Forgive me though if I say the full name. GSO is run through the tech another mod pack that is uh, launched and run through the Technic launcher. To find it, type into the Technic Launcher search box Galactic Science Official in the search box and then click search and you'll see it in underneath. So that's how you get to it and then you can install and run it. GSO is another mod pack that uses the Hardcore Quest mod. Uh, you will see it uses it rather well. In fact, after 30 minutes of playing GSO, my brain started to ache, which is usually a very good sign for any game, as it means the game has depth, and that equals fun. And let's face it, any chance I get to use my brain has got to be a good thing, as it lies dormant 99.9% .9 of the time. So, Let's make a start and show you how much fun this new mod pack is. Also, with all my other Minecraft series, I will be playing in normal difficulty. Okay, so this will be another mini series of about five episodes. Uh, should by the time I get to episode five, if I feel I've explained enough about the game, sh shown enough about uh, GSO, then I move. I will move on to another mod pack. But these mod packs, uh, Blightfall, GSO, as I'm moving through them, I've decided the favourite one out of all of them is the, going to be the next series when my uh, hardcore modded Skyblock series finishes. So, if you like, the winner out of the, the one that's the most fun for me out of all of the mini series mod packs is the next full series I'll pick it up on. Anyway, let's click single player. Okay, so we're going to create from template, and I'll show you why. Now, when you start GSO, you get these two templates you can choose from, and I will save you a lot of stress, okay? I will be playing using Pitswise, hopefully that's pronounced correctly. Sir Will, whilst he has done a lovely base, okay, when you enter Sir Will's uh, world you'll be swarmed by creepers and zombies and you won't have a weapon to fight them with so it'll end miserably for you a short quick death we're starting with pits wise yes there's a mob or two but nothing we can't handle um, at the start so this one equals normal difficulty this one equals normal but with an extremely frustrating start as you're going to see anyway let's give our world a name so I'll call it GSO series and select uh, pits wise and create new world okay you'll see this come up um, so just click yes Okay, taking a little while and here we go. Okay, I'm not playing in a team, but if you are, that's all what you can do there. So I'm just gonna close it. Right, okay, so as you can see, we've started on the moon, but let's give you the official story. So I'm gonna go into the quest book. Earth is the past, destroyed by humanity and their need for power. You managed to flee from this disaster that was called the human race and start life on the moon. Using your father's old moon base, you set up home, hoping to keep the human race alive. With the best of luck, don't mind the tree in your house. This mod pack was created by Kathleen. 
and the contributors were Sir Will, Slind and Chetwind Kid. Chetwind Kid. So there we are. Okay, so the Earth, whilst it is still there above us, it's a grim place to live because it's so all re ra radioactive. So hence why we've jumped off to the moon. Okay, let's click to start. Okay, so as you can see, HQM, the Hardcore Quest mod pack, mod, actually not pack, sorry, mod, is here again, which I absolutely love this mod, and that's why I decided to do all the mini-series around mod packs that utilise it. Hardcore mode is not active, you have infinite amount of lives, which for me I need because in order to do a series, I can't be wiped out a quarter of the way through. So let's click here. You can see there's 128 quests in total. Okay, so we start here, a whole new moon. Let's select it and click open. And you'll see that if you die, here's where you click. You click this and you can get all the necessary items back again. It's very nice that they did that. So maybe this is one that you don't have to restart from scratch again. Okay, but we're, where we begin now is here, welcome home. So let's click that. Welcome to the moon, which will now be known as your home for the rest of your life. It was probably a bad idea to destroy the earth. Yes, it was a very bad idea. A task where the player has to reach one or more locations. Well, we're here already, so we can just claim all of our rewards. Notice that little jump I did forwards. That happened because I got this star. And as you know, stars are very powerful items. In fact, I'm surprised I haven't disintegrated and the, pl and the moon as well holding one. Anyway, so let's have a look what's next. Okay, we've got three choices. We've got the surface, power up, and just breathe. Well, just breathe does sound the most important. But you have to do them in uh, the right order. In order to fill my two oxygen, I mean, oh wow, when I started playing this, I wasn't joking when I said my brain started to ache. It was probably a lot sooner than 30 minutes, I can tell you. But look at that. Oh, you can't hear it, but it's all quiet. But when you get an achievement, it makes all this fireworks sound. I thought, lovely idea, love it. Okay, so looking at this, here's the items we've got. I just got these two heavy oxygen tanks. They are empty. We are on the moon and we are breathing oxygen. How cute does that look, the little glass helmet? If we look here, you can see there's my little oxygen mask, which I'm wearing, and my oxygen gear, and I've got two tanks. They're both full, thankfully, because in this game, when I waffle, I'm in serious risk of running out of oxygen. Because as you can see up in the top left corner, do you see them two blue bars? They are my two oxygen bottles that I have equipped. And the one on the left, you can see, is going down ever so slowly, thank goodness. That is one of our main objectives. But the first one to make this logical, make this a nice introduction for you. Let's take that second one out. Let's put that in there. See that? Every time you do it, you move. Anyway, right, so let's have a look. This is the one I'm going to do first, the surface. Why? Because I don't want to die with a mob attacking me, and I don't want to spend 20 minutes fighting it. I need to get defences put in place so I can kill two birds with one stone. Why did this give me another quest book? What is going on? Oh, it pull it. Oh, well, anyway, let's keep it there. Notice that when you jump, being on the moon, you go up in the air. It's great, isn't it? Right. So we've got to get some of this moon turf. I believe we've got to get twenty of it. And notice when you chop things up or punch them up, they fly up in the air, but they do come back down. Thankfully, like us when we jump. Anyway, let's go as quick as I can. Now, the day times and the night times in GSO are very, very long. They are not short, they're very long. It's a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because obviously the um, the daytime you can get to do quite a lot unless you waffle too much like I do. The bad news is of course, in order to make it through the night, you need to have enough 
um, items put in place. You need enough food, you need enough. The most important, of course, is your oxygen. For your oxygen, you must have power. For power, you must have the oxygen tanks in order to fill, which I've got. Anyway, you're going to see all of this as we go along. But um, one thing I will let you know, get at least 20 of these turf real quick. Notice as well we're in a vacuum, so the sound is very quiet. We're in a vacuum because that's what space is. Okay, now we're going to need more. Why are we going to need more? We're going to need more because I need to block that hole up. And that's another reason why Sir Will's, um, Sir Will's world is more difficult because it's got many more openings. So anyway, let's keep uh, getting some turf. Let's get another 10 to be on the safe side. This is a very, very fun mod pack, just like Lightfall and just like um, HMS, Hardcore Modded, uh, ha oh, let's just call it HMS for goodness sake. So yeah, this is very, very fun. And you may be thinking, well, wait a minute, Gamester, aren't these all going to be exactly the same? You will see. I'm not going to answer that. I will let you see through the videos because I can tell you now they are all so different that they are just all so much fun because they're all so different. They all hinge off of using the Hardcore Quest mod and they all use it so wonderfully well. Oh, I've left one over there. Let's go grab it. Right, I've got plenty. Let's go back to my base. Okay, first thing to do is this. Okay, room for a door there. Right, okay, if we go into the quest book, uh, we've got the moon turf, so let's claim. Oh, wow. Okay, that sounds not low. Right, okay, so we've got that. <coughs> so it's talking about the moon here, excuse me. <coughs> Well, by the looks of it, it's not cheese, but there could be some use for this in the future, maybe. I should grab some just in case. So that's what I've done. Okay, right, next, power up. When you were a child, your dad used to tell you about how he and his dad built a station on the moon. Something he used to mention was that he used stars to power the base. For this task, you are required to, to get the star container. For this, you need to find your star harvester. Then shift right click with an empty hand to insert it back and after right click while holding the container. Then the same with the star after. Now, I can tell you now, I spent about 10 minutes trying to work that out because it it's all was confusing. I'm gonna make it so easy for you. So anyway, right, let's have a look, what else? So that's that, and then there's just breathe. Oxygen, something that's taken for granted on Earth. But while you're on the moon, you're going to need lots of it. Fill your two extra tanks up just in case. Okay, so that's that. They're both similar, they're both sort of tied together, really, and you're going to see why. So let's go do this power up. If we go down here, you'll see there's an oxygen compressor there, but what interests us is the star harvester. Now, what it said is we need to put this star in the star harvester. So in order to do that, we've got to select it and then shift right click. No, sh uh, just simply right click. When you right click your star, it goes inside, it gives it power. Giving it power also will give your compressor power which then will give you oxygen. So let's put an empty tank in there. You see now that the oxygen tank is filling up. It takes 2,700 oxygen to be full. So I will leave that filling up. Let's have a look and hope I didn't jump by a quest update that I needed to do. So power up. Oh, right, I need that star container back. So let's go back. 
and uh, shift right click grabs it back shift right click uh, let's go to an empty one so you have to first shift right click to grab the star then go to an empty slot on your uh, toolbar here and shift right click to grab the star harvester now that we've got the star harvester go into the quest book there you go Bob's your uncle and claim reward so pick one pick the dirt don't even go there with the bone crook just pick the dirt so claim the reward there we go cool so we've done that right we will need power though because we will need continued oxygen see that stop filling up now that we've taken our power out so what we do is we reinsert the star container by highlighting it and then right clicking then we highlight our star and right click again and there we go it's now powered back up so that's how you do that and that's when my brain started to ache after working all that out I can tell you which is a good thing because basically when your brain aches it means you've worked you've done a workout like going to the gym with your body right so let's put that there because it's full let's put in the other empty one this is something you will have to keep an eye on there was with my other world I started to die and then realized oh dear what can the matter be and all my oxygen bottles except for one and it had a tiny sliver of oxygen not just enough to survive so keep an eye on that always make sure you've got enough oxygen okay let's look at the quest book see this thing pulls me back that's so funny right okay so just breathe heavy oxygen tank okay so we need two of them to be full Okay, so I'm waiting for, oh, I wish, if you get out of range of it, you see it stops pulling you. Right, so there we are, waiting for this to be full, and then I can update that next quest. We're on a roll. But I can assure you, it took a lot of brain power to get here, and this ain't nothing. Some of it I'm still mystified, but slowly working it out. You, of course, are lucky because I'm working it out for you. Of course, there'll be some of you that want to work it out yourselves. Good luck to you. Right, we have our two oxygen bottles. Let's go into the book. There we go. Again, let's choose one. What one are we going to choose? That's very simple to make. The reward bag. Hmm. Melon seeds we can get from... Um, I'm going to go with the melon seeds, actually, because I know we need that for another quest. So... Mind you, the wooden pickaxe would save me a bit of wood. Oh, let's go with that. There you go, I'm going with the melon seeds. Right, okay, what's next? So, we've unlocked now I'm yelling timber. So, let's have a look at that. Two trees, that's all he left you. One tree for oxygen, so we can't touch this tree here. Another for a farm. Better hope you get saplings as fast as the tree has fast as fast as the tree has one leaf block left. You can simply harvest the lowest block and tree capitator will harvest the whole tree. That's a very cool uh, mod uh, tree capitator. Um, you either use that or tinkers. But that is very cool. I like that. Okay, let's go do what it's asked us to do. So I need a wooden axe and an oak log. So, and we've got to hope we get a sapling. So let's just put some of this stuff in my pocket. Oh, let's see what the reward is. Oh, limestone, 128. I think that's useless to man or beast at this point in time, but never mind. That's a shame. In my other world, it gave me an ender spawner. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, that's cleared enough off. Let's get some wood. Now, I don't want... You need an axe, of course, for tree capitator to do the whole tree, but I'm going to take wood from here. Cool, got another achievement. Let's grab this one. Yeah, cool. I was worried that it would damage the whole tree. And let's get a third block. Okay, right, if we look at the quest book, I need, I've got that now, so I need a wooden axe. Right, in order to get a wooden axe, what we will do is first, 
I'll keep one just in case. Okay. Now I need a crafting a workbench. Crafting table, I should say, sorry. Okay, now we've got that. Can you hear the fireworks? So cool. And look, you see all the stars. Right, okay, let's put this in my base because I don't want to be smacked by a monster. Okay, now let's create our wooden pickaxe. A wood axe, I should say. Oh, and one wood short. Okay. Hmm, or would I be better off doing a crook first and getting them leaves? Yeah, I think I would. So let's do that because I don't want to risk the saplings. So make sure you do the same. Do your crook first and hope that you get saplings. Because if you don't, you may be starting over. Yes, there we go. Oh, there's two. Cool. Right, that ensures I don't have to restart. Oh, and even an apple. How cool is that? In this one, the, the trees give apples as well. So we'll have two things we can eat. Silkworms or apples. And I know which one I'm going to be going for. Yes, make sure you do the crook before the axe, okay? And it'll save a heck of a, you'll get a heck of a lot more um, saplings that way. Right, okay, now I can get this wood and then make the axe with that. Did I get both of them? Yeah. Right, okay, let's go and make an axe. Notice it didn't give us a dirt tile. We can't place a sapling on that, so we get, we need one dirt to start our tree farm off. But we'll get there. Right, okay, so let's go in here. Let's create the axe. So keep one in reserve. Make some more sticks. And there's our wood axe. Right, okay, put that there. Now, if we look in the book, there you go, claim one, I'll claim the one in the middle. Okay, that has now unlocked jars at the ready, and I like to sieve it. Okay, let's have a look at this one, jars at the ready. If, you, <clears throat> if you're wanting to expand a farm, at all you're going to need some more dirt and how do we do this we compost for this you're going to need some sort of barrel okay so for this quest it's going to give us an oak barrel but notice down here we're going to get a choice of five more dirt or 25 saplings the one you should go for without a question of a doubt is the dirt always the dirt the saplings you're going to see we can get them very easily now so it's always the dirt and the other one, of course, the sifting table, which is crucial for us. Um, but we're going to need to taint up a tree first. So what we're going to need to do is put the dirt to work. You see, I've got loads of dirt. So let's put the food at the end there. Let's get busy planting dirt. Remember, we need to get certain things before nighttime comes. Now, what I like to do is put a tree near my entrance because then that blocks the creatures from being able to, to harm me. So let's dig that out. There we go. Sapling down. That's one. I want to do a load, as many as we can and as quick as we can. Now, a trick with this world, um, with uh, when you're here, you want to do a load of trees close together, because when it gets to uh, us infesting them with silkworms, you're going to need loads because it's going to be your main source of food, silkworms. So make sure you do trees close together. 
because you really won't mind them infesting each other. But having said that, also do some trees away because you will still need lots of saplings. Okay, let's do one over here. Well, we are looking good. And let's do another one here. You see, now if I hadn't have, if I'd have made the axe instead of the crook, I would have had no way as many trees as this. So now it's just a case of um, waiting for one of these trees to grow. And you can see I've still got more dirt. So, and I'm going to get loads of saplings from all of them. So I would say it's somewhat of a fantastic start. Now. I did say about the food uh, being lots of silkworms you're going to be eating, but of course we do get rewarded with these cans of food, and they are also fantastic, but I keep them for emergencies. How's our oxygen uh, doing, by the way? Do you see one of our oxygen bottles is now empty? Keep an eye on that, as it will kill you. So let's put that back there. What we do now, get into the habit of when you swap one out, you go down and you put your empty back in. And there we go and do try not to let your star drain of all its power because it will implode once it does that means there won't be a moon here anymore and you won't be here either so do try to make sure you progress enough to before your star implodes and look at that we got a tree already we right okay so we still want lots of saplings we're well we're basically we're looking for a silkworm now now what I should do of course is make another crook um, because this one's going to die pretty soon and it was interesting that it offered us a bone crook that means we know that we can at least make crooks out of bone which probably is going to be much better than the wooden one once, once an unwary skeleton crosses my path then I may be able to make one unless there's another way uh, within GSO to make bones oh them really high ones now are so cool because look you can just jump up and get them I do love that none of them are out of your reach anymore the earth does look earthish doesn't it <laughs> oh there we go look at that trees just grown right next to it so I can reap all the leaves from that now. Getting lots of saplings. Just be aware, sometimes the saplings can be blown right over the other side. So it's easy to miss them. Right, that's that crook. Let's go make another one. In fact, let's, oh, what am I doing? Let's turn that into four more planks. Let's put that there and that there because it's all about the crooks. Put that there and we will do one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go, looking good. Let's carry on getting some more saplings. Oh, nice big tree this time. That equals lots of wood. Cool. And lots of saplings as well. And hopefully a silkworm. I must say that um, in my other world, it took about 50 trees before I got a silkworm. Hopefully I'll be more lucky in this world. Of course, the silk worms are tiny, they're hard to see, so maybe I'd missed one. Okay, so I'm waiting, I'm going to keep playing until the timer goes. I thought it would uh, be nice to have 30 minute episodes. 
Especially as there's only going to be five. Oh, and funny enough, there's the timer. Right, okay, so I'm going to be busy collecting saplings and I'm going to do the grindy bit so you don't have to watch me doing it. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope to see you in episode two. Goodbye.